today's world, most people are very casual. So if we're wearing jeans and we're wearing casual clothes every day, well, the right shoe, the right sunglasses, the right handbag, I think that's what you notice. Um, and it's interesting also, when I talk on the telephone and I have paper and a pen in front of me, what I always like kind of make little sketches, it's always shoes. I'm shoe obsessed. Um, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a good thing because most women I know are shoe obsessed. The style of Michael Kors is this hybrid. I think it is relaxed, but it's glamorous. I think that it is timeless, but it's new. And I think that what we do is simple, but interesting. It's always the contradiction. Um, and I think that, you know, that's why we have such a variety of different kinds of people who wear the clothes. My favorite color has to be camel. Um, I'm, I, it's, I, I like that it has texture. I like that it's luxurious, um, and I like that it's, it reminds me of skin. I think it's sexy. I always wear black because I don't want to think about what I'm wearing. Um, I spend too much time thinking about everyone else, so it's easier for me to just wear black. It's interesting, um, my favorite models also are like my favorite things in fashion. Um, they are a blend of things. And you know, Carmen Cass is the kind of model who, although she's very sexy, she's also sporty. And she's a woman, she has a woman's body, she's not a child. Um, and she's also a chameleon. She can change a million ways. She can go glamorous. She can go very sexy. She can go very sporty. Um, she's an actress. I think that there was a time when people thought that to have beautiful taste or a refined eye meant that you were rich. And I think that we started to see a real uh, democracy in taste, um, that it wasn't how much money you have, um, and also, more importantly, that you mix things. You wear something that could be vintage, something that could be, you know, custom made, like couture, something that's deluxe, ready to wear, um, and then you have something that's not expensive. It's how I dress. You know, I've always dressed that way. Um, but what really made me make the decision to uh, start doing Michael, Michael Kors, I was in a department store in New York when the sale day started, and I saw the Michael Kors collection clothes put into the store with the new sale price. And I saw these women running to the racks. Uh, it was like being in Spain and seeing, you know, the running of the bulls. It was crazy. And, and I looked and I said, you know, there are obviously so many women who, who love the look, love the, uh, the style, um, the attitude. Um, but maybe, you know, they don't want to fill their closet with only very precious things. And now we find that we have a lot of clients who mix it all. They mix all of the different prices. When you look at the runway collection and you look at Michael Michael Kors, um, well, of course, the runway is certainly a laboratory um, for new fabrics and new yarns and new ideas. Um, but the fingerprint and the DNA is really very, very close. Um, in today's world, everyone copies 
designers. So quite frankly, I'd rather have a, a version myself than wait for someone else to do a version of my clothes. Um, but certainly the fabrics are different. Um, but it's the best quality that you can find for the price. We do four Michael Kors collections a year. We do four Michael Michael Kors, four men's. Um, so whatever I'm working on that minute, that's my favorite one. I have to look for inspiration every day. So for me, I, I love pop culture. Um, I love going to the movies. I love the theater, music. Um, I love the tabloids. I love to see what celebrities are, not only on the red carpet, but what are they wearing when they go to the grocery store. I love to travel um, for work and for pleasure. Um, it can be the visual of a place. It can be people watching on the street. Um, and, you know, as I said before, uh, to me it's most important that the, the inspiration, the influence comes from, from a living thing. For me, it's, it's, it's not from a museum. It's not from, you know, Renaissance art. Um, it's, it's from how people live today. the greatest compliment is when someone tells me that they're wearing something that's 10 years old. So I think about, it's like a journey that I'm going on with the client. Um, and I think about where we came from, what was previously, you know, uh, in their closet or in my fashion show, and how do I take them on the next journey? What would make uh, a difference in what they've already bought? Um, so we start there. Um, and the starting point can be a photograph, um, a, a film um, for a mood. Um, and then once the mood is developed, uh, then it really starts taking form with color, then fabric, uh, and then shape comes after. Um, because I think the color and the fabric definitely determines, you know, where the shape will go. And sometimes shape also is, you know, I think fashion is a pendulum. If it's short, it will go long. If it's small, it will go wide. Um, it, it's the nature of fashion. Um, but I always like to have a balance. I always try to think of one thing um, I always say the best fashion, one thing's familiar and one thing's unfamiliar. So if the silhouette is something that's different or, you know, maybe your eye changes, then the color becomes more familiar. Um, or if the color is outrageous, then the silhouette becomes familiar. Once again, I think it's about balance. Um, I think balance is the secret of life. I think it's uh, the secret of good fashion. And I always like something off, you know. I love women like Elle McPherson. She's been a good client for a long time. She'll wear an evening gown, but she'll wear it with flat sandals. You know, there's always something that twists it, turns it. When I see the celebrities that we've dressed, we've dressed almost everyone. Uh, in the public eye over the last 30 years. Um, but we dress such a variety of women of different ages and different types. Um, everyone from Blake Lively uh, to Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, um, Mrs. Obama, Jennifer Hudson, um, all the way to Sigourney Weaver. It's, 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 it's a, a huge range of women. Um, and what I think is interesting though, they are all busy women, and I think they are all opinionated women. 
Um, so they want fashion that they can put their own mark on. You know, they don't, they don't like to be a designer's kind of doll. one CFDA award uh, for women's, that I had one, and I had one for men's, um, and both are, you know, amazing to have and exciting because you're voted for this award not by the public, it's not a popularity contest, um, you're voted on the award by people in the industry and your peers, other designers and, and, and fashion professionals who are very competitive. <laughs> and uh, so I think that it's a competitive industry. So it's, it's very flattering. Um, then last year I won the Lifetime Achievement Award from the CFDA, which uh, when I first found out, I, I was surprised. I was like, but I'm so young, how could it be? You know, it's impossible. Um, I'm just a kid. But the reality is, uh, it is 30 years. And uh, I was very flattered because again, I think that the only people know, who know how hard it is um, to design a collection and then also to last for a long time are gonna be other designers and editors and retailers. So it's, it's, it's very exciting, very important. My style has been, interestingly, uh, pretty consistent since the very beginning. Um, it's certainly, of course, evolved and fashion changes. That's what makes it interesting and exciting. Um, but what I've learned, I think you have to really remember um, to be true to yourself. Um, don't look over your shoulder. Um, because the best thing that you have as a designer is your gut. It's what's in your stomach, what's in your soul. And just, and, and, and follow that direction. Because when you do, it becomes authentic. Um, and I think that, you know, when you're younger, sometimes you get nervous and you, you know, you look over your shoulder. But I don't regret anything that I've done. I don't think any of it's a mistake. I think you have to try new things or you won't grow. You don't go to the next thing. I'm Michael Kors, and thank you for watching the World Fashion Channel.